All right, for the next category here, I have on my hand two very, very notorious types of spices. All right, here I have on my left hand a few sprigs of zaomui, which is cilantro, as known in English. Whereas on the other hand, here I have a sprig of zaomui tau, which is also known as sawtooth coriander or culantro. Mm. So here we have cilantro and culantro. Cilantro, culantro. Interestingly, what you should know about the cilantro is that it has got a cousin, a western cousin to be exact, and that is parsley. Now, cilantro is a bit different from parsley in that the stem and leaves of cilantro are much softer and also its flavor is somewhat milder compared to parsley. Parsley has got quite a unique um, bitter aftertaste to it, whereas for cilantro, it's, it's just about the fragrance. Alright, for the next category here, I'm having two big-ass bunches of herbs on my hands. One is purple, one is green, and if you are Vietnamese and if you love Bunu Mam Tom, you should really know these guys really well. Mm -hmm. On this side, I'm having a bunch of Tia To, which is Shiso in English. Well, to be exact, Shiso is not its English name, but it's rather a Japanese-derived name. For, for this um, herb right here, but it is an internationally acknowledged name now, so you can call it Chiso. Meanwhile, on this head, I'm having a bunch of King Zoe. Now, for King Zoe, it's, it's a bit more of an interesting story because I could not really find its um, English name, but just a few hours ago, I discovered that many people on the internet call this one Coxcomb Mint or even Vietnamese balm, which, which is interesting, right? And actually, the flavors of these two types of plants are quite similar. Um, they are quite smoky and quite dark, if you think about it. Uh, but this one, um, the Coxco Min, it's a bit cooler, whereas for this one, for the Shiso, I think the flavor is a bit more pungent and it's a bit more purple. If, if there's a color to... to uh, taste. Alright, so for the last type of herb that I want to introduce to you today, this is something that you should know by now. It is the most basic and familiar herbs that you can find in the markets, and that is Bak Ha, also known as mint in English. But what you might find surprising is that there are so many varieties of mint. Whoa, there's lemon balm, chocolate mint, lavender mint, apple mint, penny royals, peppermint, so on. So there are so many varieties of this little guy right here. But what I'm having on my hand is probably the type of mint that you would most likely find in the supermarkets near your house. And that is spearmint. It has some curly leaves and quite round like this, and it has got a reddish brown stem. And I think its look is very recognizable, right? And apart from the spare mint, I also happen to find this guy, which rarely appears in my local supermarket. And in Vietnamese, we call it Hong Chang. In English, Mexican mint. It's it's a huge ass mint. You can see its leaves are so huge and it's kind of spongy and its leaves are actually very close to the texture of sage, clary sage, if, if you guys know about that type of herbs. And its scent. Its scent is actually... It, it's not the usual aroma for mints that you can find, but it's actually pretty pleasing. It's very well-rounded, it's light, and it's very close to the smell of um, a type of tree in, in Vietnamese known as Sen Thơm. It smells pretty good, actually. Alright guys, and that's it for today's video on Vietnamese Herbs 101. I do hope that throughout this video, I have been able to give you some helpful information on these aromatic greens. And who knows, knowing about the English names of these herbs might be useful to your daily English speaking, or even IELTS speaking test. Who knows? These vocabularies might amp up your score a little bit, maybe? 
All right, and that's it for today's daily vlog. I am Long, teacher of the senior class from the IELTS workshop, and I will see you 